Hey guys, this is part two of um, the June prophecies. I realized when I was recording part two, I, was, I read May 13th instead of June 13th. So I'm gonna read June 13th and 14th and then cut the video. <clears throat> um, Claim Jesus Christ, the son of God, he's God. He came to earth in the flesh, bled on the cross. He died for us and rose on the third day and he was born of a virgin. Ignore the people on YouTube trying to scam you. First John 3:11. this is June 13, 2023. 1 John 3.11, for this is the message that you heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. 1 John 4.8, he, he who does not love does not know God, for God is love. 2 Timothy 2.9, for which I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even to the point of chains, but the word of God is not chained. James 3.5, even so the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. See how great a forest a little fire kindles. Obadiah 1.11, in the day that you stood on the other side, in the day that strangers carried captives as forces, when foreigners entered his gates and cast lots for Jerusalem, even you were as one of them. Colossians 1.3, we give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you. First Samuel 2, 11, then Elkanah went to his house at Ramah, but the child ministered to the Lord before Eli the priest. First Peter 2, 8, in a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, they stumble being disobedient to the word to which they also were appointed. Revelation 16, 6, for they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and you have given them blood to drink, for it is just their due. John 9, 6, when he had said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with saliva, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. Genesis eighteen seven. and Abraham ran to the herd, took a tender and good calf, gave it to a young man, and he hastened to prepare it. Exodus 21, 3. If he comes in by himself, he shall go out by himself. If he comes in married, then his wife shall go out with him. 1 Corinthians 2, 6. However, we speak wisdom among those who are mature, yet not the wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing. <clears throat> Here's a message. My child, planes are going to fall. It will be right around my coming. The wind is going to pick up. You will see trees fall and more lightning strikes. I'm coming. My... I'm coming, my child, I'm picking up the net. I told you to look at the signs in the heavens. I have some more surprises. The constellation, Leo, look behind it. I am revealing all my mysteries to my people who I ordained from the beginning of time. My signs in the heavens, the crab has several meanings, not just my time, but it correlates with what I am proclaiming. Clean and unclean is circumcision and uncircumcision this is the end so i'm revealing it all do not come after my anointed ones you have no idea what you are doing i've been i have been speaking the entire time and you are about to see my light show <coughs> are you on the boat yet let's talk about six just short of seven but what does it mean and how does it convey i told you seven was my completion how many days did i warn noah to get on the boat but when did the rain start did it flood right away or were people still trying to get in the ark? Same scenario, different time frame. The people were wicked and didn't repent. They didn't believe in me, so they were destroyed. I sent my messenger to warn the people, but they did not listen. They scoffed and mocked. I told you it would be like times of Noah. The same thing is happening, but you still can't see it. I told you seven was the key, but why did I speak 1853? Have you searched the scriptures? Where does my grace come in? Didn't I tell you I wished for not one to perish? So don't you think I would warn you before the door shuts? I'm asking you to get on the boat, children. There is no more time. The beast system is in place and the Antichrist is ready to rise. The documents have already been constructed, but I'm holding it back until my children and my bride is gone. I'm catching them up. Are you in my net? Have you confessed I am Lord? Have you believed in me yet? I'm giving you all a chance to believe in me. You will all see my glory. If you deny me after this, your heart was hardened and you are never going to believe in me. Remember, I already know the outcome and I know the last person who is going to enter the net. Once the net gets caught up, my glory is shown and you have a minute to choose. Choose the wedding feast and supper with the lamb or die for my glory and face the great tribulation. I love you, children. If you confess I am Lord and believe in me with all of your heart, I will save you. Massachusetts, a lot is coming. More train derails, more contamination of water, and back-to-back -back tornadoes. I will destroy all witchcraft and sorcery, and I will not be mocked. Have you searched the messages? Have you prayed to me for discernment? <clears throat> Excuse me. You may be pleasantly surprised when you see all that comes to pass. 
I told you to seek heavenly things, not earthly things. I told you to step out of this world and look for my coming. I told you to watch. Are you watching for me? It is the times of Noah and it's wicked like Sodom and Gomorrah, but I have several speaking, dreaming, getting visions from me and words of knowledge. But are you soaking up the knowledge? Are you heeding the warnings? Six, it's not just from short from seven. It's before my completion. It's when you will see my glory, my light show, my countenance. Wake up, O sleeper, and keep looking at the moon. It's going to get bigger, brighter, redder. Here comes supernatural times. Time to wake you up, children. See you in the clouds. I love you. Your Lord God and I have spoken. Jeremiah 21, 7. <coughs> Excuse me. And afterwards, says the Lord, I would deliver Zedekiah, king of Judah, his servants and the people, <clears throat> and such as are left in the city from the pestilence and the sword and the famine into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, into the hand of their enemies and into the hand of those who seek their life, and he shall strike them with the edge of the sword. He shall not spare them or have pity or mercy. Luke fourteen seventeen, And sent his servant at a supper time to say to those who were invited, Come, for all things are now ready. Matthew 28, 3. His countenance was like lightning and his clothing as white as snow. <coughs> Excuse me. James 3, 9. With it, we bless our God and Father. With it, we curse men who have been made in the similitude of God. Uh, Colossians 1, 8. Who also declared to us your love in the spirit. Philippians 1, 3. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. Judges 2 9, and they buried him within the border of this inheritance as Timnath Harris in the mountains of Ephraim on the north side of Mount Gash. Amos 3 7. Surely the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. John 3 11, Most assuredly I say to you, we speak what we know and testify what we have seen, and you do not receive our witness. Okay, I'm going to get these back in order. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did I go in order? Here we go. I didn't want to get them out of order because I have to leave them for the people left behind. June 14, 2023. Colossians 111. Strengthen with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy. First Corinthians 2 9. But it, as it is written, eye has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for. John 2.11, the beginning of signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Leviticus 4.7, but the bull's hide and all its flesh with its head and legs, its entrails, and awful. Psalm 119.2, blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with the whole heart. Jeremiah 1.8, do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Matthew 26.7, a woman came to him having an alabaster flask. A very costly fragrant oil and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table <coughs> james 2 5 listen my beloved brethren has god not chosen the poor of this world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he promised mark 1 8 i indeed am baptized you with water but he will baptize you with the holy spirit ezekiel 21 3 and say to the land of Israel, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I am against you, and I will draw my sword out of its sheath and cut off. <clears throat> Hebrews 4 9. These remains, therefore, a rest for the people of God. Here's the message, my child. Wake up. Drones are coming. Fighter jets are going to be circling the air. They are part of the delusion. They are going to show staged event to take focus from my glory. The haze is going to cover the moon. You will see a smiley face. You will see another moon with a rainbow around it. You will see my glory. Stop mocking my dates. How long did I take to split the Red Sea? I can create all things. <coughs> I can create all things. Uh, oh, it cut off. That's not good. Um, oh, you little faith, I told you no more, Terry. The enemy is preparing for my arrival in the clouds. This is why they have their satellite phones. But once the satellite phones are released, you know, I'm going to have to read it from my computer. Because look, it's like tiny, tiny, tiny. So hold on. <coughs> Yikes can't read it from that. It got cut off. Hold on one second. Okay. Let 
Whoa, how did that happen? That is weird. All right. I just love technology sometimes. <laughs> okay. I have so many accounts, that's the problem. <clears throat> okay. One second, so sorry guys. This is the last one though, so you don't have to worry about anything, which is cool. Here we go. Okay, so I've read the scriptures, we go to the message. My child, wake up, drones are coming. Fighter jets are going to be circling the air. They are part of the delusion. They are going to shoot the drone out of the sky. They are going to call it alien abduction, a stage event to take focus from my glory. The haze is going to cover the moon. You will see a smiley face. You will see another moon, bigger, brighter, and redder. You will see a third, a half crescent moon with a rainbow around it. You will see my glory. Stop mocking my dates. How long did I take to split the Red Sea? I can create all things and make all things happen in a blink of an eye. Do not limit my power. Oh, you little faith, I told you no more tarry. The enemy is preparing for my arrival in the clouds. This is why they have their satellite phones. Once my people are taken, the satellite phones will no longer be blocked. Sorry, the satellites will no longer be blocked. My people are gone. My spirit is gone. Darkness will fall and Obama rises. Obama is the Antichrist and it goes back to Pharaoh and Egypt. I told you my clock will stop. Do you know what that means? That means time will no longer exist in the heavens. My stars fall and the moon will turn black. Find that it's in my words. See what happens after. When the nets get pulled out of the water, you will see the lights. The angels will gather my elect from all four corners. You will see lightning strikes. You will see my glory. When you see things, believe in me, confess I'm Lord. And if, if I'm truly in your heart, I will save you. I am a God of order and my word is true. 17 glorifies me. It's also my victory. There is no hidden meaning this time. No more delay. At 3 p.m. you will see the wind pick up. You will see trees fall. Lightning will strike the clock tower in Czechoslovakia. You will know if you have my spirit, you will feel a gravitational pull towards heaven. I told you I was opening up the heavens and you will feel perfect peace. A wave of supernatural peace. Green and red skies with rainbows and aurora lights will be beautiful but very ominous. I told you I'm catching up my bride and coming on the ninth hour. Are you awake yet? Are you ready for my arrival? Do not be a foolish virgin, but be a wise virgin. Learn my true gospel. Learn my good news. Do not overcomplicate what I'm trying to say. I am the good shepherd. I am your teacher. Are you listening to my teachings? If you have been paying attention to my anointed ones, I have revealed my true calendar, the Maseroth. They know when the ninth hour ends. When it ends, I take my bride. It's not too late to believe in me. Confess your sins and come to me with repentance. I will save you. To my false believers, you have spoke my words. You know my scriptures, but you rely on your own works to save you. I died for you and shed my blood on the cross for you. Only I can save you. Put down your pride and pick up my cross and follow me. Love me and love your neighbor. Stop scoffing, my false believers who live for this world. Am I truly in your heart? Do you put me first? Do you feel my spirit convict you? Or do you just go through the motions, praising me and pretend prayer in public? I say to you, I'm, am I truly in your heart? I love you, children. This is why I'm trying to wake you up. Get out of your own heads and believe I have revealed the end to my prophets. I will do nothing without revealing it to them. The fig tree has withered. The wheats and the tares have been sorted. Next is my countenance in the sky. I will reveal my glory. Now that the heavens are open smell that glorious food an aroma you have never quite smelled or tasted this is just one of the many surprises i have in store for my chosen ones delight in me and i will give you the desires of your heart i am the truth the way and the life no one can come to the father except through me my spirit dwells in all of my chosen people and on the 17th you will feel my presence so strong you will know when I am coming. It's going to be supernatural, but the spirit will only understand. My children, without my spirit, you will not feel my supernatural presence. I am aligning the heavens with your spirit, and you will hear my call. The trumpet will sound. I'm calling you up. If you miss my trumpet call, you will have to die for my glory. I love you. I'm your Lord God, and I have spoken. First Thessalonians 2.12, that you would walk worthy of God who calls you into his own kingdom and glory. Luke 21.13, but it will turn out for you as an occasion for testimony. Zephaniah 2 7. The coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Judah. They shall feed their flocks there in the houses of Ascalon. They shall lie down at evening for the Lord God. 
will intervene for them and return to their captives. 1 Corinthians 1 8. Who will also confirm you to the end that you may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ? 1 John 4 6. We are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. John 5 12. Then they asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your bed and walk? 1 Timothy 1 7, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor the things which they affirm. Little message. Um, I'm coming, my child, I'm coming, I love you. Look up, redemption draws nigh. This is my last warning. Tomorrow you will get instructions. Tonight, pray to me and ask me for a dream. Ask me for confirmation. Ask me with all of your heart sincerely. If you are sincere, I will show you when in the dream. You will get the day confirmed and the hour. I love you. I can't wait to be with you. I am your Redeemer, your Rescuer, and your Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, and I'm rescuing you on the 17th Eastern Time. Seek me for my hour. I will give it to you. I love you. I'm your Lord God, and I've spoken. Colossians 1-2. To the saints and faithful brethren in Christ who are in Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Habakkuk 2.8, because you have plundered many nations, all the remnant of the people shall plunder you because of men's blood and the violence of the land and the city and, and of all who dwell in it. Ephesians 1.7, in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Revelation 16.9, and men were scorched with great heat and they blasphemed the name of God who has power over these plagues. And they did not repent and give him glory. Revelation 12, 7. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought. Exodus 18, 12. Then Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, took a burnt offering and other sacrifices to offer to God. And Aaron came with all the elders of Israel to eat bread with Moses' father-in-law before God. Almost before. Will a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he has caught nothing? Isaiah 42 8 I am the Lord that is my name and my glory I will not give to another nor my praise to carve images Isaiah 1 14 your new moons and your appointed feasts my soul hates they are trouble to me I'm wearing I'm weary of bearing them Daniel eleven six, and at the end of some years they shall join forces forces for the daughter of the king of the south shall go to the king of the north to make an agreement but she shall not retain the power of up with those who brought her and with him who begot her and with him who strengthened her in those times John fourteen seven. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also, and from now on you know him and have seen him. First Peter one six. And this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials. Revelation five nine. And they sing a new song, saying, "You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation." Okay, that's it, guys. And then I'll just add the other video. I love you. God bless. Okay, guys, um, finished the rest of the video. Uh, May 13, 2023, Matthew 28, 2. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back to the stone from the door and sat on it. Colossians 1, 11, Strengthen with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy. 1 Peter 3, 5. For in this manner in former times the holy woman who trusted in God also adorned themselves being submissive to their own husbands. Revelation 21, 3. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. And, yeah, be their God. Philippians 2, 5. Let this mind be in you, with, which also was in Christ Jesus. Philemon 1 5. Hearing of your love and faith, which you have toward the Lord Jesus and toward all the saints. Lamentations 3 7. He has hedged me in so that I cannot get out. He has made my chain heavy. Jude 1 8. Likewise, also these dreamers defile the flesh, reject authority, and speak evil of dignitaries. Enoch 7. And all the others together with them took unto themselves wives, and each chose for himself one, and they began to go into unto them and to defile themselves with them and they taught them charms and enchantments and the cutting of roots and made them acquainted with plants and they became pregnant and they bare great giants whose height was three thousand ells who consumed all the acquisitions of men and when men could no longer sustain them the giants turned against them and devoured mankind and they began to sin against birds and beasts and reptiles and fish and devour one another's flesh and drink the blood. Then the earth laid accusation against the lawless ones. 
Here's the message. Storms, my child. Storms from the desert. A sandstorm is going to cover the cities. This is just one phenomenon you will see. There will be many others. I know some of you are doubting my anointing ones. Why would I give a date? Did I tell Noah to build the ark that I was coming soon? Did Noah get explicit instructions from me? Also told Noah when to get on the boat. Did Jeremiah understand every prophecy I gave him? Elijah knew he was going to be raptured. What the man knows will never understand what the spirit knows. I choose people according to my will and according to my purpose. I have given people dreams with the date in it. They don't even realize it yet, but they will. I will keep giving dreams and visions and words of knowledge until my arrival. I told you I was at the door and my arrival is soon. Look up every day. That is how soon it is. Have the lights gone out yet? You will see it and you will know my words are true. It will lead up to the events and then rapture it will come after. If you don't believe earthly things, how are you going to believe heavenly things? I told you you almost had the calendar correct, but there was a missing piece. My prophets found that missing piece. Have you figured out that missing piece yet? My prophets were the missing piece. Not all of them received my words at the same time. I scheduled them different times to reflect my months. Remember, my calendar was changed. They added days and subtracted days. Every word I spoke was according to my timeline. The people who are truly speaking my words are from me and are from the line of David. It is the end, so I brought them all together from all over the world to speak what I have given them. But not everyone out there speaking is from me. Listen very closely to my words. I came to save the world, not condemn it. I would never just speak of wrath and tell you to judge and attack your neighbor. Do you know the true love of, from me and my father? I wish for no one to perish. I died for you on the cross so you could have everlasting peace and eternal life. Why can't you see I told you I would keep you from the hour of trial coming on this world? Children, why do you wish to seek my wrath? I told you my true word is in the Geneva Bible. If you look at that in Enoch, you will put all the pieces together. When was the first Passover? Didn't I say I was coming on the 43rd day? Did I tell you to look at the leaves and count them? Who are the leaves? What did my anointed one speak in the heavens about the door? It all ties in with the leaves. Look closely and you will see. Many of you tell my anointed ones to stop speaking what, I've, what I have asked them to speak. These aren't their words. These are mine. I have put my words in their mouths. They obey me and my commandments because they love me. Do you love me? Do you obey my commandments? Have you turned away from sin and truly believed in me? You are counted righteous under me. My Father, nor I no longer see your sin when you come to me with full repentance, faith, and your belief in me. Let me change you. I will give you a new heart. I will renew your mind. You aren't capable of doing any of this on your own. But through me and my spirit, I will lead you to life. Or you can reject me, deny me, and seek death. The choice is yours. It's time to make it. My door will be closed and my spirit will leave when my chosen ones leave. I am God. My spirit is in them. When they leave, I leave. Now that you know who the restrainer is, look up, because it's very soon. I told you I would use my anointed ones, my prophets, my visionaries, my words of knowledge people to show you the mysteries hidden for thousands of years. Now that the end is here, I'm uncovering, I'm uncovering these mysteries. You will perish for your lack of knowledge. I told you you can't work to get to heaven. You are saved by faith and my grace. When you believe in me, I will give you my spirit. You will become children of the light. If you are still walking in darkness, you are not practicing the truth. I am the truth, the way, the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. I love you. I am your Redeemer, your Adonai, your Abba, your Rescuer, and I have spoken. Jeremiah 1.13 And the word of the Lord came to me the second time, saying, What do you see? And I said, I see a boiling pot, and it's facing away from the north. <clears throat> here's another message <clears throat> seven is the key i told you seven fold the earth will shake i tell you the truth who have ears to hear let them hear destruction chaos famine the map severs fallen angels and giants will no longer be a mystery keep watching his coming look up redemption draws nigh i love you your lord god and i'm spoken Joel 2 11, the Lord gives voices before his army, for his camp is very great. For strong is the one who executes his word, for the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. Who can endure it? 1 Samuel 3 5, and before the lamp of God went out in the tabernacle of the Lord, where the ark of God was, and while Samuel was lying down, Exodus 14, 6, so he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. Daniel 12, 8, although I heard I did not understand, then I said, my Lord, what shall be the <coughs> end of these things? Ephesians 3.11, according to the eternal purpose, which he accomplished in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Hang on, Dobby. Deuteronomy 12.9, for as yet you have not come to the rest and the inheritance which the Lord your God is giving you. John 11.3, therefore the sisters sent to him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. 
John 1, 12, but as many as received him to them, he gave the right to become children of to God to those who believe in his name. Okay, buddy. Hebrews 12, 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Let me pick up my dog really quick. Hang on, Daddy, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. All right. So that was the last message from Jesus. And these were instructions. <laughs> I'll read them. Just put them in there. June 15th, the Lord gave me, my child, here are your instructions. I want you to do a live with the girls at 3 p.m. on the 17th. I want Anna Lee and Sean on the live. I also want Sarah with you as well. I want you to go over everything you have discovered. I want you to go over all the prophecies that have come true. At 4 p.m., I want you to go outside and stay on the live. Continue sharing. That's all for now. I'm your Lord God, and I have spoken. Colossians 1.9, so we have not stopped praying for you since we first heard about you. We ask God to give you complete knowledge of his will and to give you spiritual wisdom and understanding. John 3.7, so don't be surprised when I say you must be born again. Almost 3.8, the lion has roared, so who isn't frightened? The sovereign Lord has spoken, so who can refuse to proclaim his message? Philippians 1.2, may God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ give you grace and peace. 1 Corinthians 2.7, know the wisdom we speak of is the mystery of God, his plan that was previously hidden, even though he made it for our ultimate glory before the world began. Genesis 1 4, and God saw that light was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. 1 Peter 2 3, now that you have had a taste of the Lord's kindness. Colossians 1 8, he has told us about the love for others that the Holy Spirit has given you. Jeremiah 1 2, the Lord first gave messages to Jeremiah during the 13th year of the reign of Josiah, son of Ammon, king of Judah. June 16th. This is the last message with instructions. First John 1 1, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen, which our eyes, with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled concerning the word of life. Malachi 2 4, then you shall know that I have sent this commandment to you, that my covenant with Levi may continue, says the Lord of hosts. Jeremiah 1 9, then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. Amos 3, 5, will a bird fall into a snare on the earth where there is no trap for it? Will a snare spring up from the earth if it has caught nothing at all? Philippians 1, 7, just as it is right for me to think this of you all because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my chains and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, you all are partakers with me of grace. Colossians 1, 5, because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, of which you heard before in the word of truth of the gospel, 1 Peter 2, 8, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, they stumbled being disobedient to the word, to which they also were appointed. Genesis 2, 9, and out of the ground the Lord God made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life was also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge was good, of good and evil. Exodus 1, 11, therefore they set task mas taskmasters over them to afflict them with their burdens, and they built for Pharaoh supply cities, Pithom and Ramses. Okay, here's the message. My child, you have the hour. Don't doubt. I'm catching up my bride. I love you. You are my heart. The wind picks up at 3 Eastern time as you are on your live. At 4, you go outside and will start to see supernatural things happening. Continue speaking about what you have found. It is the 17th, my third month. I have confirmed the day. I told you they would eat their words. 522 is the start. Lift off and lights will fall. Then comes countenance. These instructions are for my true believers. Military will strike as you go up. Believe and confess your sins to me and become a true believer. I will save you. Give me your heart. I love you. You will see my glory. One minute left. Make a choice. I love you, your Lord God, and I have spoken. John 2, 5. His mother said to the servants, whatever he says to you, do it. First Thessalonians 2, 2. But even after we had suffered before and were spitefully treated at Philippi, as you know, we were bold in our God to speak to you the gospel of God in much conflict. 
Mark 1, 7, and he preached, saying, There comes one after me who is mightier than I, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to stoop down and loose. Luke 14, 6, and they could not answer him regarding these things. Matthew 25, 9, but the wise answered, saying, No, lest there should not be enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. Ruth 1, 11, but Naomi said, Turn back, my daughters. Why will you go with me? Are there still sons in my womb, that they may be your husbands? Revelation 4, 2, Immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. Revelation 4, 2, oh, said that one. Revelation 12, 8, But they did not prevail, nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. John 3, 8, The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. Okay, guys, so that literally was the last message from Jesus. That was all his instructions. I truly believe in my heart. And since he said it was his last message, I'm not speaking any more prophecies. I already told Jesus. <laughs> I said, look, if you have a plan, you know, that's great. Um, if this is not it and we got it wrong somehow, I just, I don't feel comfortable speaking anymore. Um, but you know, like if I ever come back to the social media, I will share Bible verses and, you know, my songs and stuff and maybe get back in the studio and record. But guys, I don't believe there's any of that. I would not go out all over the internet and put my reputation out there if I didn't believe. So just know that I am 100% sincere. I do, no, I do none of this for attention or money for any of these reasons. It's my heart and I truly believe I'm being obedient to Jesus. And so many Christians have gotten the same revelation as me. God gave them dreams. He gave them messages. He gave them visions and it has to be God because I feel the love in it and it's always been leading to Jesus and I just I refuse to believe Satan can orchestrate a plan with thousands of people all over the world I just know our God and he's loving and no matter what happens today do not lose faith Know that Jesus, if he doesn't come today, he's coming and he loves you. And like I said, I believe 100%. And if he comes, just know your children are safe. Your children are with him. If you didn't make the rapture, it was not aliens. They're going to say it was alien abduction. It was not aliens. They're going to even stage, um, what did the Lord say? See, they're not my words. I don't even... I can't even speak without him. <laughs> an illusion, but going to stage like an illusion, um, almost like a simulation, he said. Thank you, Jesus, of the rapture. and um, But of alien abduction. That's why aliens have been increasing a lot more lately all over the news and the media. And guys, once the rapture happens, Harpazo, destruction is going to be everywhere. It's going to be the great tribulation. It's going to be very bad. And the only way out of it <clears throat> is to die for his glory. But make sure you believe in him, guys. It is your heart. When you sincerely come to Jesus and you ask him in your heart and you, and you confess your sins to him and you believe he saved you from your sins, you're saved by your faith, your childlike faith and his grace. There's no other way. So do not worry. If you didn't know Jesus and you missed the rapture and you're worried about your children, they are in a glorious place and they're happy and loved and you can make it with them if you just believe in Jesus. Okay, guys, I love you very much and I am so grateful and thankful for the last six months. Well, it was like December 30th. So yeah, pretty much six months and like a day. 
almost, well, it's not all of June, but yeah, you know what I mean, five something months. I need to do the math. I wonder if it's five. That would be so funny if it was five um, months and 22 days. <laughs> I can't do the math like this, this quick in my head. But if you're listening out there and you want to do the math, the messages started December 30th and they ended on June 16th. Well, that was the instructions. So you can... If you don't count the instructions, you can say June 14th. Okay. I'll see you guys at the live today at 3. And remember, Jesus loves you. He wishes not for one to perish. Okay, guys. Oh, I have to sing out. I can't, I can't, I can't leave the world without singing one last song. Um, well, of course I have to do. Our God is an awesome God, he reigns. From heaven above, our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. It's the morning time. I haven't even warmed up. But Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, he does. Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, he does. Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, he does. For the Bible tells me so. The Jesus God cast it along. Thank you, Jesus. It was the everlasting covenant. Scripture. Of course, he has to make the appearance, you know, in the last video. Um, I do have a prophecy video fulfilled that McKenna made, which I really love, and I'm going to upload that. And then I have, oh, the May 22nd message from the live. I never wrote down that message and got the scriptures for it, so I need to do that. And then I'll see you at the live at 3. I woke up early to get all this done for Jesus. Stayed up till about 2.35 a.m. last night trying to finish. <clears throat> That's how much I believe. And then, um, I love you, Lord. Though your mercy never fails me. And all my days, I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. I'm gonna sing the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able. I'm going to sing the goodness of God. God bless. I love everyone. And if my family, if there's someone in my family that doesn't make the rapture, I love you guys. And um, I just want you to know that I'm praying for all of you. And... It's not too late. Die for his glory and do not take the mark. The mark's gonna come when the pandemic comes. Follow the message. There's instructions there. There's events. Most of those prophecies are for after the rapture. But some have come true just to prove his glory. Okay, guys. I love you very much. God bless.